Hey everyone, what is up? It is Baron here. Today we're going to be going over the Raylan and the Hull B. I know there's a price difference there, but just listen to some of the arguments. Before we get into it, subscribe, hit the bell to go those notifications, check out all the links in the description, please. <coughs> okay, so as we know, the Hull B is a decent cargo ship for the price that they want. So it's $90, uh, 384 car like units of cargo. And then when you have a look into the actual ship itself and hard points, it's only got two size two um, turrets. So we know the components. We know that this ship cannot land planet side unless you take those cargo boxes off. And then it should be able to land planet side. I think a hull A can. So before we sort of start making assumptions, we know that the Raylan is armed quite well. So you got eight size 4 missiles per mount, two mounts, and uh, then you got two size 3s, so you got two mounts, so you got four size 3s, and then you got two size 4 turrets, and then you got a tractor beam as well. So this can also land planet side, it's an alien ship as we know, it's a fairly decent ship, um, you can buy it at the moment, so the whole concept behind this is that this whole piece here can fold down once it lands. And the whole B we know you cannot land planet side. Now the difference between these two is that one, the Raylan costs 225 US, 200 on War Bond, and that the whole B costs 90. And now we know there's a, quite a difference between the two of them. Uh, we know that one can land planet side, one they are both cargo hauling ships. But I feel like the Raylan does have a bit of advantage over the whole B. Now a lot of people down in the comments are going to go so mad over this. I don't care. It's my opinion. A lot of people are going to listen to it. A lot aren't. So just take it with a little bit of grain, like a little a grain of salt. Um, again, it depends on the size of the ships as well. Uh, we know that this is a decent sized ship. It's about the same size, really. They're both about the same size as each other. They're not like like a massive difference the beam on obviously on the hull is a bit smaller and the height where the railing stands taller obviously when it's in flight mode um, obviously it's got less cargo than the hull but it has got more capability so again you can use those two side turrets and we also know that the cargo units on the back are protected by the shield where if you go with the hull this actually isn't protected by the shield the hull like the cargo boxes are not protected at all as we know but we see that the hull B has got the boxes on it where then they have added this so it's got the boxes around so whether or not it'll be able to land planet side i'm not a hundred percent sure it looks like it may change it looks like you will be able to possibly turn into a hull a but it looks like a bigger version of the hull a um but then they have got the image here that of it having its cargo um box section on it so whether or not that's going to be a problem if it can land planet side or not so let me know down in the comments what you've heard if it'll be able to land planet side but i just feel that the railing's going to be a better um like better purchase better money uh, you might not want either of these ships and you can just use them as ccu chains we know that the whole series will be available at the iae sale so go check out my video on that that pretty much all ships are going to be available there uh the railing's got a max crew of four this has a max crew of one, but it does have a turret. So depending on what you really want and what you want to do, if you have an interest of landing planet side while cargo hauling or even having missiles uh, to be able to actually defend yourself, it's completely up to you and actually having your cargo protected with a shield. Again, up to you. I, I like saying up to you, but it's obviously the better choice would be to get the uh, the Raylan. I feel that the Raylan would be the, the better one to get and actually buy have invested in it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Been Baron. Peace.